My main claim is my government finance, finance birth contraceptives will benefit women in society. And for my supporting claims are that free birth control will reduce the number of unplanted pregnancies and free birth control will lower abortion rates. According to a 2006 study conducted by Dr. Feiner, um, Director of Domestic Research at Gut Matcher Institute, 49% of pregnancies are um, 49% of pregnancies are unintended. Of these 49%, 82% are unintended teen pregnancies, and 62% are among those in poverty. In a recent ongoing study from 2008 to 2013, known as the Contraception Choice Project by Dr. Pieper from Washington School of Medicine in St. Louis, nearly 10,000 women were given were provided with free birth contraceptives. These women were given the choice as to the different options and educated on the various on the various contraceptive types such as pills, shots, rings, IUDs, implants. Most of these women chose a long-term uh, pregnancy prevention types since these cost anywhere from what Planned Parenthood states as $500 and $900 without insurance. And since 62% since of unintended, unintended pregnancies uh, are among those in poverty, it is crucial there is a wider access to birth contraceptives. To, since birth control can be expensive to those without insurance. It is important to keep in mind this study by Dr. Cooper, because I'll be referring back to it later in the study. Um, for my supporting my free birth control will reduce the number of unintended teen pregnancies. As stated earlier, doctors' primary research shows that 82% of unintended pregnancies are among those are among those with teens. According to the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, or CDC, there were approximately 368,000 live births in America in 2010 among women between the ages of 15 and 19 years old. This means there's a birth rate of approximately 34 out of 1,000. The CDC claims this is an all-time low for women in America, for teenagers in America. Even though births are on, teenage births are on the decline, as a society, we can continue to decrease, decrease the rate if appropriate measures are taken. In the Contraceptive Choice Project I mentioned earlier, the birth rate among the teens who were provided free birth control in St. Louis was only six per 1,000 as compared to the 34 <coughs> to 34 out of 1,000. Uh, for my next claim, free birth control will reduce the number of abortion rates. Dr. Feiner's 2006 study shows that 90% of abortions are from those uh, that are unintended pregnancies. The Center for Disease Control Prevention claims that in 2008, the national average for abortion Abortions were about 20 per 1,000. Um, however, Pieper's Contraceptive Choice Project shows that among the women provided the free birth control in St. Louis, they have they were only had between four and eight abortions out of 1,000. Although society can help prevent teenage births and abortions by providing women with more adequate and readily available. Um, information on the prevention of unplanned pregnancies, there are still those women living in poverty who have low or no insurance coverage that are engaging in sexual activity that are unable to afford birth contraceptives. According to Adam Thomas, a scholar at the Brookings Institution in Washington, D.C., by increasing the amount of subsidized birth control available to those women in poverty, taxpayers would be investing $235 million a year. However, by investing in government finance birth contraceptives, um, our country could save $1.32 billion a year. Dr. Katie Fox, Director of Adolescent Medicine at Washington University School of Medicine, states that only positives can come from free contraception. This would allow women to plan their lives better, which brings me to my main claim that government finance birth contraceptives will benefit women's society. Thank you. Can you give me the time on that, please? Um, 
It's an approximation. Five and a half minutes. Yeah. But it's one minute fifteen seconds left. Okay. Uh, just make a little. All right, the uh, main proposition is labeled. The secondary points are pretty clearly set up. Uh, your first point was labeled. When you got to the second point, though, it just seemed like it started, and there's not really much of a transition to that particular point. I thought you did a good job citing uh, your data early on. Uh, the, the key issue that needs some development is that it is, in fact, cost that keeps people from having access uh, to these types of birth control. Uh, you have a good, an interesting study that you're presenting, although, say, six per uh, 1,000 in the one... Uh, test group, and let me see, there were 10,000, so that means that there were 60 births in that group. Uh, so that's that's the number that you're making your inference off of, and I'm not sure uh, what the control group was. I mean, the control group seems to be uh, the general population as opposed to the same population that didn't get subsidized, and I'm not sure that those are comparable populations, but that's, uh, you, you at least tried to give us some basis for making a comparison, which I appreciated. You have a tendency to look down while you're speaking, uh, but like I said, you were very consistent in citing your information. All right, thank you.